Okay, well it's the start of week six, end of Monday. Um, we have finished the excavation, essentially. Uh, got it all cleaned up, it's just been taken for its final photograph. And you'll probably see that is a very attractive, very well cleaned site, I'm very happy. Um, they've done an absolutely lovely job today. And you're just gonna walk around it so you can see it. You can see the size of the walls, everything. There's the big cut it's sitting in, uh, coming down. Now there is a hearth in the middle now. We've got that fully exposed. So that's the last thing we've got to get dug. Uh, there's the drain. Um, there's one little deposit left in there to deal with. And then the end wall. Um, so you can see, you know, we've, we've hit all our targets in terms of the excavation. Got everything done. We've got three more days on site to get this planned um, and once we've got it planned that's it really um, have to see what happens then plan it backfill it we're gonna say leave that interior kind of turfed over but exposed so that should look really good these guys have done a fantastic job today I'm delighted with them and uh, it's time to pack up and go home uh, apparently we've got a bit of nice weather coming our way for the rest of the week so that should make the planning a lot more enjoyable but there we go that's our building all right well it's Tuesday afternoon uh, I don't know half an hour left of the day you can see we've spent the day busily recording the site um, it's coming on I guess we're about halfway there now or heading there See Jackie there doing a very nice drawing. And this is basically going back to the other uh, So we got two groups um, working with offset measurements. You see another drawing here. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's coming along very nicely. Well done. Um, and then these guys up here, because they're going along the wall rather than across it, are working away with the old planning frame. Um, and yeah, they've got two squares to do in about 20 minutes. What? Uh, it's about. I got it. No, you got. Well, it's 10 to 4. you still got two more squares to do today. Um, once that's done, just all but completed all the contact sheets today. So we've just got to dig out our hearth. You can see the, the hearth there. Uh, that's lovely. Just been reading a historical account of the old buildings here um, from MJO Kelly from 1942 and he seems to be describing exactly this sort of building without the opposing door but with the drain running across and he was saying that the, the fireplace is up um, against the gable wall which may explain this deposit of ash that we've been looking at up here um, that may be the location of the original fireplace um, if, if this building follows those accounts. So that's quite interesting. Um, and then really, yeah, we've got to dig that one out. Um, I think that's about it, really, is it? Dig that. Oh yeah, we've got the last little bit in the drain here. It seems like that's going over um, an earlier feature. So we just have to stop and finish off recording it and then we're going to take that out and see there may be an earlier pit down there or something. It's a bit weird. Um, we may just be looking that we've, we've cut down into the um, the bank material, so the lower half of the the building is built up. You know, they've they've cut into the slope up there and tipped material all down this end to build the the level of the the building up. So it might be just be that we've poked through into into that. Um, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, so yeah, coming along very nicely. Uh, the plan's going to look great when it's done. Uh, you can see there's tapes and grids everywhere, everyone's very busy, it's always good to see. Uh, yeah. Okay, well it's Wednesday afternoon. We are uh, in the very last stages now. In fact, we've started the back wheel. <laughs> 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 
I say we've started the backfill, they're, they're just <laughs> learning how to use a wheelbarrow without killing themselves. Um, the very last bits of the recording are being done. There's a big master plan uh, that Grace has got now. Let's just have a look at this. So, I don't know, it's a bit too much glare. But you can see the, the big plan of the building is coming along very nicely. A couple of hours to finish that off. Um, we've we started working on the hearth. Um, it didn't turn out to be very much, just a very shallow deposit with some oxidised orange soil underneath it. Which is kind of what I was expecting. Um, I would have liked a little cut, but you know, the, the historical accounts all say the fires were just laid on the floor, and I think we've, we've proved that. Um, finished off the drain. Um, so, yeah, everything's going really well. We're going to get on with this backfilling today, tomorrow, and that should all be good. But today we got very lucky. Um, we had a, a visit from John Mullins of Aerial Videos Island, and um, he put his quadcopter up. Um, we've got a video. Uh, so I think this is going to seek into a video of a, a flyby of the site. Okay, well things are progressing. Um, we've got all the recording done up this top end and we've moved on to backfilling. You can see this is a, a multi-stage process. Putting down a layer of stones, you know this is the, the rubble layer and we just put that down to give the, the ground some drainage so that we're not making a swamp. And over that goes down the topsoil, um, packing that all down, building it up over the walls and then uh, we're um, turfing then, and this is the hardest job really, because you have to be so neat, trying to get that back together. Now, obviously you can see it's quite a cracked surface, um, but we will be um, filling those cracks in later on with, with more soil. So, you know, that you can see now what I've been talking about, that we're going to backfill this and, and make it look really good. Um, with those exposed walls on the inside. Um. <laughs> and I suppose, I mean, what is it, it's Wednesday afternoon. Um. So, Thursday afternoon we should have all this finished. And have something to display, something that, that people visiting Kim can see. Uh, we've got all the archaeological data we needed and we're making a little, well, I suppose it's a little bit of a tourist thing. Um, it's well, it's job done. Um, it looks a bit of a mess right now because we've just put all the soil back, but even after a couple of rains this will start looking pretty well. Six months time all this grass will start growing, um, start binding all the separate turfs together. We're entering the quiet season, so there won't be many visitors now, uh, once the autumn starts. And really, it's a bit of a slow process. We'll be keeping an eye on it for the next few years. Two or three years down the line, this will be grassed over and looking quite good. It'll still be a bit lumpy. Um, five years should really smooth it out, um, just with people walking on it and animals coming back and forth and the rain that we get. But you can see what we've been talking about, leaving this wall face so that people can see there is a building here. We filled the drain in but left the, the side stones, the tops of them just exposed. The spoil heap has almost gone. The last little bits of that are going down to uh, one of our friends for his greenhouse. That's going to be growing tomatoes next spring. So really that's the end of this excavation. Um, 
two more weeks to go in the field. Um, I'll be under a new director, Richard Clutterbuck, is coming in for a couple of weeks. Um, and we've two trenches to do over the brow of this hill, but um, I'll leave him to explain those. For now, uh, that's the end of house three at uh, Kim Bay.